Hi students, in today's class I am going to explain about electrolytic preparative methods for chlorine gas and the chemical reactions of chlorine gas with sodium hydroxide, see this is NaOH and with ammonia. Okay, first of all you just take what is the principle here, principle is Cl2 prepared by electrolysis of electrolysis of brine solution brine solution listen uh, brine solution is nothing but highly concentrated salt solution in water just remember i am not writing that one just for extra information okay uh, electrolysis of electrolysis of brine solution gives Cl2 gas at anode and H2 gas NaOH at cathode. Just remember these two products will be formed while doing electrolysis of brine solution cl2 gas at anode naoh and h2 gas at a cathode how it will form you can see electrolytic reaction you can take first electrolytic reaction here uh, the brine solution i am going to take that is NaCl salt solution sodium chloride in water highly concentrated sodium chloride in water so electrolysis of sodium chloride you can see two moles uh, sodium chloride you can take during electrolysis it will form two moles of sodium ions and two moles of chloride ions just remember this is the electrolytic reaction and then what are the reactions at anode and cathode you can see at anode at anode oxidation will be happens oxidation oxidation reaction that is listen two moles of chlorine chloride ions converted into one mole of chlorine gas and two electrons will be liberated here that is the reason here it is the oxidation reaction at ca cathode you can see at cathode the reaction is reduction reaction reduction reaction actually by seeing this one we are uh, maybe you you may be think like this uh, sodium uh, plus ion nothing but Na plus ion uh, going to take uh, these two electrons then it will become reduced don't think like that because here the reduction will be depends upon reduction potentials okay that will be a different topic in electrochemistry you will learn okay you can see so that here water molecule going to be reduced that one remember so two moles of water you can take then it will take two moles of electrons it will form two moles of hydroxide ions and one mole of h2 gas okay remember this one the formed hydroxide ions and na plus ions will going to be react with each other they will form sodium hydroxide that's what i told you uh, previous at cathode naoh and h2 gas will be formed this is about principle and electrolytic uh, um, method for the preparation of chlorine gas you just take a screenshot then we will go to chemical reactions of uh, 
chlorine gas one more time i am going to explain uh, chlorine prepared by the electrolysis of brine solution here brine solution i am i have taken sodium chloride solution brine solution is nothing but a highly concentrated salt solution in water just remember then you can take electrolytic reaction that electrolytic reaction is nothing but electrolysis of sodium chloride uh, sodium chloride converts into sodium ions and chloride ions so the formed chloride ions going to be oxidized at anode remember so two chloride ions converts into one mole of chlorine gas and to release two moles of electrons then next one is at cathode water molecule going to be reduced by taking two moles of electrons then um, h2 gas will be formed the remaining oh minus ions and na plus ions going to be combined with each other they will form two moles of na oh nothing but sodium hydroxide this is about electrolytic preparation method for the um, chlorine gas then we will go to uh, chemical reactions with the NaOH and ammonia in different conditions. Next, you can see about chemical reactions of chlorine gas with NaOH and ammonia in different conditions. What are those different conditions? You can see chemical reactions. Chemical reactions. First reaction with NaOH reaction with NaOH reaction with NaOH this is in this will happens in two conditions those are uh, first one is cold and diluted NaOH reacts with the chlorine gas and the second one is hot and concentrated NaOH react with the chlorine gas then what are the products you can see first one A just I am taking A like that um, cold and diluted NaOH with chlorine gas will form NaOCl and NaCl remember what is NaOCl that is nothing but sodium hypochlorite just remember uh, see you can see what is the chemical reaction two moles of uh, NaOH you can take this is the cold and diluted NaOH reacts with Cl2 gas one mole of chlorine gas will gives you one mole of NaOCl sodium hypo chloride okay uh, the next one is the NaCl sodium chloride will form and the remaining is uh, hydrogen and one oxygen atom remaining so that will form water that will be liberated in the form of water this is about the cold and diluted NaOH with the chlorine gas the next reaction is hot and concentrated NaOH con is nothing but concentrated NaOH with Cl2 gas will form NaClO3 and NaCl you can see what is that rea chemical reaction 6 moles of NaOH you can take and 3 moles of Cl2 gas will gives you NaClO3 this is the sodium 
chlorate sodium chlorate and 5 moles of sodium chloride will form and the remaining will be see 5 moles of sodium chloride remaining will be water molecule 6 hydrogens are there so that uh, the uh, three molecules of water will be formed this is about the reaction with the uh, uh, hot and, and cold and diluted NaOH, hot and concentrated NaOH. You can take a screenshot about uh, this, uh, this one, then we will go to another one. Um, see, the next reaction is the uh, chlorine gas reaction with uh, reactions with uh, ammonia. First condition is, oh, you can write like this, reaction with Ammonia is nothing but NH3. Okay. Mm. Here also I am going to take first reaction is A. Excess of ammonia. You can write like this. Excess of ammonia with chlorine. Excess of ammonia with chlorine gas will form will form n2 gas and ammonium chloride nh4 cl see that chemical reaction um, 8 moles ammonia you can take because it is in a excess and 3 moles of chlorine gas will form 1 mole of n2 gas plus NH4 Cl. How many moles? 6 moles of NH4 Cl. Ammonium chloride will form. See, this is the excess amount of ammonia. Excess. This is the nitrogen gas. This is the ammonium chloride. Okay, huh. the next reaction is excess of chlorine here. In the first condition, excess of ammonia we have taken. In the second condition, uh, excess of chlorine with ammonia gives Excess of chlorine with ammonia gives nitrogen trichloride NCl3 and HCl. You can see that reaction. Um, ammonia is in same uh, one molecule you can take N NH3 plus excess of chlorine nothing but 3 moles of chlorine gas will form NCl3 is nothing but uh, nitrogen trichloride. This is the nitrogen trichloride. Trichloride. Okay. Yes. Uh, next one is the remaining. See here. Already three chlorines went out as NCl3. The remaining one is three hydrogens and three chlorines in the form of three moles of hydrochloric acid. So, these two are the uh, reactions with, uh, I mean chlorine uh, reactions with uh, ammonia. Well, first condition is the excess of ammonia with chlorine and the second condition is excess of chlorine with uh, limited ammonia. Okay, uh, this is about um, um, how chlorine going to be prepared. Uh, electrolytic by using electrolytic method and its chemical reactions with NaOH and uh, ammonia. Actually, if you get this question, you can write same. You will get full marks. I hope. Um, thanks for watching. We will meet in the next class. If you like this video, uh, please do subscribe and share these videos to your known people. Just mention your words in comment box. Uh, then I will make, make more and more sessions for you. Uh, thanks for watching. We will meet in the next class. Bye. I love you.